Navigating the world of Marvel Spider-Man is more fun than ever in Spider-Man 2. Not only is the simple act of getting from point A to point B a lot faster and far more stylish, but the gameplay moments that have you chasing baddies through the streets of Manhattan have become a lot more manageable. So if you're looking to thwip your way to victory in Spider-Man 2, then you've come to the right place. In this video, we'll give you guidance on what traversal skills you should be looking out for, explain all the new tools at the Spider-Man's disposal, and most importantly, how to go really, really fast. Let's start by looking at some of the new tools we have. Since 2018, Marvel Spider-Man has served as a prime example of how to make navigating a video game's open world incredibly fun. While the simple acts of swinging, point launching, diving, and air tricks haven't been completely overhauled, the Spider-Man have a lot more tools at their disposal this time around. One of the biggest additions is Spider-Man's Wing Glider, as it allows you to glide around New York with ease. Simply tap the triangle button to deploy your wings and glide for quite a long time, and depending on your current speed and suit tech upgrades, even longer. When gliding, there are a few things to look out for to keep up your momentum. First off, you can switch between gliding and swinging easily. When gliding, you can still press X to launch yourself forward and around corners, though continued use of this will slow you down. You can even still click L3 to dive or press R2 to to swing. Both of these will take you out of your gliding form, but once you feel like you've gotten your speed back, simply press the triangle button again and redeploy the wings. Switching between gliding, swinging, and point launching is the key to quick and incredibly cool traversal. A handy new thing they added in Spider-Man 2 is sort of a sky rail system in the form of wind tunnels. These come in two variations, horizontal and vertical. Do I even need to explain the difference between them? Okay, fine, one makes you go up and the other makes you go forward, like really fast. While swinging around, you can press R3 to see the paths that all these wind tunnels will take. That way, if you're heading towards a quest marker, you can quickly spot the fastest way to travel there. And yes, while the wind tunnel air current does appear to be moving in a single direction, they aren't. You can enter them in any direction to propel you forward. Also, you'll notice that, except for really sharp turns, you don't really need to struggle to stay in as the game will keep Spider-Man in the tunnel as best as it can. Fast travel almost feels blasphemous in a game where getting around is just so dang fun. Why would you opt to go to your map, click on a point you want to travel to, and then have to wait for a loading screen? Well, that's because you don't have to do that. That's right. The previews and Twitter videos were telling the truth. Fast travel really is that fast. We even fast traveled from the furthest point that we could, and it's just a few seconds before you have full control again. To unlock fast travel in a district, you'll need to complete activities in that zone to fill up the district progress bar. Once you get to this symbol, that's when you're good to fast travel to that area. And it's not just to a designated spot either, you'll fast travel to where your cursor is hovering. Moving the cursor around the map will highlight each region in purple, and each region has its own progress bar. Finally, if you're looking to gain massive speed, then slingshots are absolutely the way to go. If you spot a building with a launch pad and red lights, or see a yellow slingshot icon on your minimap, then you'll know that that's a super slingshot. Get yourself situated on the launch pad and hold L2 and the X button to pull the bars back as far as they'll go and then release the button to launch yourself forward. Once you've hit the apex of your launch speed, press the triangle button to pull out your wing glider to capitalize on all that momentum. Luckily, they've placed a lot of these super slingshots near a body of water. Water, allowing Spider-Man to get across the bay with ease. There's another way to slingshot yourself, however, which leads us to our next topic. Now that we've gone over all the brand new tools that the Spider-Man have, let's take a look at some of the skills you want to pick up first to make everything we've discussed so far even better. When on the skill tree tab, you'll see that there are three to choose from, Miles, Peter, and a shared skill tree. The Miles and Peter specific skill trees focus mainly on their individual abilities. So for traversal, we'll be focusing on the center of the shared skill tree. Here's what you should grab.
The very first node in the shared skill tree is honestly one of the best. Remember the super slingshots we just talked about? Well, the slingshot launch skill allows you to do that anywhere. Of course, it's not as powerful and doesn't fling you as far as the super slingshot, but the very fact that it can be done anywhere makes it far more valuable. You can even fling yourself right at a building and then press R2 to use that momentum to sprint up it faster. We contemplated if we should include this one, mainly because its actual usefulness is up for debate. When diving, press and hold R2 to put Spider-Man into a swing, and while you're holding it, he'll do a full vertical loop, giving him a bunch of built-up speed to then leave the loop with a kick of momentum. The issue is, sometimes it just doesn't work. You have to dive from fairly high up first, or he just won't have the momentum to do the full loop. And also, the amount of time it takes to do the loop makes for a cool-looking start, but kind of a slow one. That said, it really does just look looks so dang cool, we can't help but recommend it. It's not worthless, especially early on, it's just not as good as Slingshot Launch. But hey, the Spider-Man games are about balancing effectiveness with style, and this move just looks too good. The final three all go together, so we might as well mention them all at once. While swinging, Spider-Man will have access to two abilities, Spider Jump and Spider Dash. You do these by holding L1 and pressing Triangle for Dash and X for Jump, just like when using your combat abilities. These both help with giving you that burst of height or forward momentum you might need when there is nothing to point launch to. Spider Dash will always increase your speed, no matter how fast you're going, so pairing a Super Slingshot launch with the Spider Dash will really get you moving. Finally, Aerial escapades just help do these special moves more often. They do have a cooldown after all. But once you've unlocked aerial escapades, performing air tricks, doing point launches, using wind tunnels, nailing corner tethers, and even diving all partially recharge these two skills. Finally, there is one more quick thing to mention, and that's suit tech. In the suit tech menu, there's literally a section that focuses on traversal. There's nothing in here that's incredibly groundbreaking, they just make all the moves we've mentioned more effective. One will add that burst to your point launch that we all love, another will increase your swing speed, and you'll even see some web wing speed and maneuverability improvements as well. These upgrades all just make you a faster and more agile Spider-Man, so upgrade that suit tech section first if that's your thing. And those were the best ways Spider-Man 2 has improved the way you'll be swinging and gliding around Manhattan. What's your favorite new spider tool? Make sure to sound off in the comments below. And for more on Spider-Man 2, make sure to check out our full review. Also, why not head on over to IGN's growing Spider-Man 2 wiki for more tips and tricks like these. And of course, for everything else video games, you're already in the right place, IGN.